demand for better employment and better salaries. This comes from workers who include porters, cleaners and clerks who have been in the system for over eight years and earning a measly 3.5 a month. The visit by the health minister a few days ago was met with unhappiness by these workers who say they have been too patient with the department. We don't have support staff here. Now we are having a group of people that came in as health facility assistants and covered brigades with, on that time of, of, of COVID. Those people are assisting the facility. They are helping us to clean. They are earning 3,500. When we talk about when, when is there going to be appointment, we are being told about there's no money. But still, there's money for other things, but there's no money for appointing these particular people that are being exploited, that are earning 3.5 per month. The affected workers have staged numerous protests outside the offices of the health department, but they say these actions have not assisted them to resolve this challenge. One other thing that we have is the issue of a serious shortage of staff, specifically in, in terms of the issue of the emergency, emergency medical services. We have a serious uh, problem in terms of the shortage of staff there, whereby uh, 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 we only have a few uh, uh, workers in terms of EMS in this particular province. And our province is so vast, some of them uh, can't even go and leave some time, or they, they stay on overtime most of the time uh, of their work because of the shortage of staff. Minister Patla promised that the provincial department will deal with the issues raised by the unions. We have been able to negotiate with the Treasury. Uh, you would have heard when the Minister of Finance delivered the medium-term budget policy statement uh, on the was it on the first of November? Uh, he made an announcement that uh, from the health sector we will get some additional allocation. So and and uh, from our discussion, it's 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 quite clear that uh, once that is implemented, uh, the province will be able to employ a few more people. The department has not committed to absorbing the affected workers and the unions have called on it to at least prioritize them when vacancies are advertised in the future. Tabiso Khadebe, SABC News, Kimberley.